Praxis and we're here on site again. I have so many people here on site and the one that you see just over here to your right is Josh. He's my new helper. He's got his own uh, YouTube channel so if you want to check that out you can uh, see the link down below. If you really like the way that he's stacking those boards you might want to check that out. Uh, River's here on site. We've got uh, the uh, uh, excavator working on some of our uh, sloped ramp over here. They're bringing lots more super expensive fill and these fill loads are just, just, I don't know, it's like a kick in the groin every time it goes up. But it's great because it's really helping to burn around the house and keep the house warm and, oh wow, it's a different color. Check that out. So this is just sand. We've been getting kind of a mix. It's called Sandy Bank Run. Uh, it's been a mix of sand and clay. And I don't know, maybe we bought them all out because this is just just sand, and I, maybe they're going to bury Josh's car. I'm not sure what's going on back there. But anyway, there's been a lot going on in here today. Josh has been grabbing all the boards. If you notice down here, uh, there's like where we've been keeping our lumber pile. Uh, he went through two whole stacks of that stuff, bringing it up, popping it up over in here because. As I was going through all the lumber piles, they're just really mixed. There's 16 foot boards, 12 foot boards, 14 foot boards, and they, just all these different dimensions. And I was wasting a lot of time, like kind of going through the pile, trying to figure out where things were. And I never wanted to commit the time for myself to do that because there were all these other things I had to do. It's been awesome having him here today because he's been organizing everything so I can see which pieces are garbage. Look at this one. They, they, one side of this is trash and one side of it's pretty good. Uh, the side that's pretty good is the side that's gonna be used for the ceilings, the side that's garbagey would normally be used for the wall, but now I know that this is uh, one that has to go up on top. And just getting all your supplies organized would be a huge help when you're doing a project like this, just to really know what you have, to know that you have a shortage. You don't wanna find out that you're short on something the moment that you need it. You don't want to find out that like something's broken the moment that, that you need it. You really want to find that stuff out ahead of time so if you're running to the hardware store, instead of just getting one thing at a time on an emergency basis, you can get a couple things because you know well in a few weeks from now I'm going to need that. So a lot going on today. Things are really coming together. I've been working on this wall. Hopefully we're going to be able to get these, um, these decks all finished today, although I don't know, we're, we're kind of running out of daylight, but finally it's kind of stopped raining, things are drying out, and we can start working on that stuff. So I'm feeling pretty positive today, and tomorrow, what's tomorrow? Are you here tomorrow? Uh, yeah. I can always use you every minute. Okay, cool. And tomorrow we're going to be back and doing even more. It's supposed to be dry again tomorrow, so I think we'll get these floors done and then start working on the roof. That's it. Thank you.